The man who posted a racially charged Facebook post about FSU football coach Willie Taggart has been suspended from his job. Leaders on both sides of the aisle arrived at the Capitol this morning, hoping to come together on a spending deal, but that didn't happen. A man is behind bars in Gadsden County after what deputies found inside his car during a traffic stop. Three local districts did improve their rates. That'd be Franklin, Liberty, and Sewanee County. Hello, I'm Abby Mauer. And I'm Stephen G. And while people gather to honor the life and legacy of former FSU and TCC President T.K. Weatherall. Well, I must have missed the memo about wearing pink, but <laughs> pink is going to be an important color. It's time to get our first look at the weather tonight. Night. First alert, meteorologist Valerie Mills joins us now on Val, a gorgeous day to be outside. All right, Halloween, just two days away, Jane. Just two and days if, away. <laughs> if you don't have a costume, we've got some ideas for you. Feeling like winter. Steven, you a fan? Um, no. <laughs> I moved down to Florida for yeah, a reason. He's from the north, I'm from the south, so we're going to have differing opinions on this, but that's okay. But I mean, it, it's, it's nice to feel a proper winter, though. Yeah, I agree. Thank you, Alex. Mm -hmm. That does it for you news this midday. Thank you for watching. Be safe and have a great day. From the WTXL studios, this is ABC 27's Weekend News. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Stephen G. and Mall. Tallahassee police are investigating after someone was hit by a train and killed early this morning. It's our top story tonight. <laughs> Officers headed to the railroad tracks in the area of Governor's Park Access Road and Blairstone Road around 1 a.m. That's where they found a pedestrian who had died. TPD's Violent Crimes Unit is handling the case. It's an active investigation. The victim hasn't been identified yet. Anyone who may know something about what happened should call police at 850-891-4200 or Crime Stoppers at 850-574-TIPS. <laughs> TPD also needs your help identifying a suspect wanted for a burglary at a motel earlier this month. Police say it happened on December 9th at the Suburban Extended Stay Motel. These are pictures of the man they're looking for. Investigators say he got into a motel room while someone was sleeping and stole two chainsaws. If you can help, call investigator Mark Ray at 850-891-4280. Two people are behind bars in Taylor County after police found drugs on them during a traffic stop. Deputies pulled over a suspicious vehicle this morning in the area of Mount Gilead Road. Michelle and Brian Dollar were arrested for possession of meth and drug paraphernalia. The sheriff's office said Michelle had an, had an outstanding warrant for the same charges. It's been a busy 24 hours for the Tallahassee Fire Department. Two fires less than 25 miles away from each other. The first one happened at a third floor apartment on Victory Garden Drive just after 530 fr Friday evening. No one was hurt. The cause of the fire is under investigation. Less than an hour later, crews headed to a house fire on Gladiola Terrace. When they got there, they found heavy smoke and fire in the utility room. One resident was taken to the hospital for smoke inhalation. No one else was hurt. The Red Cross is helping residents affected by both fires. Getting behind the wheel is a goal for many teenagers once they're old enough to drive. As Blake Levine explained, some teens in Wakulla County had some special instructors over the past two days. And the teens also got a chance to hear from people who've taken the class before to see how it helped improve their own driving skills. <laughs> We're learning more about the man who was killed in a four-vehicle crash in Madison County yesterday. Retired First Sergeant Eddie Smith was a JROTC Army instructor at Taylor County High School since 1996. Today, one of his former students described him as a man who was dedicated and committed to his job. First Sergeant Smith commuted from his home in Adel, Georgia to Perry, Florida every day. The student said First, First Sergeant Smith never took no for an answer and pushed everyone to do their best. He was 61 years old. Now, Taylor County High School will have grief counselors available on Wednesday at 9.30 a.m. A service for First Sergeant Smith will be held next Saturday, December 29th at 1 p.m. at the Cook County Middle School Gym in Sparks, Georgia. <laughs> Well, the deadline to apply to be Tallahassee's next city commissioner has passed. All applications had to get to City Hall by 5 o'clock tonight, and there's quite the list of people running for the vacant seat one. 
64 people have officially submitted applications for the seat formerly held by Scott Maddox, who was suspended by the governor after a federal indictment. Each of the four current city commissioners, including the mayor, will pick his or her top three candidates and submit that list to the treasurer clerk. The top five vote getters will be part of a short list. The commission will pick from that short list at a special meeting on December 31st. As the Big Ben recovers from Hurricane Michael, one sheriff's office is helping another with a special donation. Take a look. The Taylor County Sheriff's Office received three Belgian Malinois puppies from a private donor earlier this year. Sheriff Wayne Padgett decided to train two of them and give the third one to the Liberty County Sheriff's Office, which was looking to restart its canine program after its last canine retired. The eight-month-old female pup was named Gemma. The Taylor County Sheriff's Office says Liberty County was hit very hard by Hurricane Michael and that canines are an integral part of the work in rural counties. Now over to Georgia where farmers impacted by Hurricane Michael could receive financial help to get their farms back on track. According to state leaders, a legislative session in November provided $55 million in emergency funding for state and local agencies. Farmers suffering a loss of income from Hurricane Michael damage may be eligible to get a loan from the Georgia Development Authority. Farmers can get more information through the State Department of Agriculture. And it's time for our first look outside tonight. First alert meteorologist Jennifer Myers joins us now. And Jen, how does the rest of our evening look? Steven, we're going to be seeing temperatures fall down to just about the mid and upper 30s. Some children in the capital city received early Christmas presents from Santa. Today at the Walker Ford Community Center, kids under the age of 10 got gifts from Soul Santa. One of the organizers says Soul Santa is very important to the Bond community. The Soul Center bring the community, bring families together. We show them with love. We have live entertainment with chills. Plus, we give them a gift. We get a chance to get food, great fellowship. We see from the little kids from the age of from one all the way to ten. Again, it brings family together. That's our goal is to see families to come together and also to strengthen the families. About 700 kids went home with gifts, and more than 1,000 people came and went from the event. The 55th annual holiday show, The Art of Giving, at Lemoyne Arts is almost over. Tomorrow is the last day the art show will be open. On display and for sale is artwork done by local and regional artists. Each artwork is unique and one of a kind. The executive director of the event says the show is a Tallahassee staple for the art commu community. It really is a Tallahassee tradition here at Lemoyne Arts. Um, I've lived in the area only a number of months and um, everyone I talk to um, is familiar with the holiday show and they have been coming here for years since they were children. And the art show is open from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. tomorrow. Still to come on your news at 6.30, the government remains on shutdown. After the break, we'll show you what Congress says needs to happen in order to come to an agreement.